In this video, I'm talking about uh, how to set up Android Identity Kevin in uh, Windows 11 so you can easily work from Android Studio, IDE, or the command line. Uh, first requirement is to install Java SDK. I prefer Oracle version SDK, but you can also choose from the OpenJDK, whatever you like. So download your installer, and when it's installed, Verify your installation by hitting Java version in the command line. And it should look like this if you install the safety version. I also recommend you set the environment variable, uh, java.com, because every program that needs Java to run, it will run, uh, it will first look into java.com, and uh, that is to enforce consistency across projects and environments. Environment variables. It should look like this. Java Home points to your JDK directory. The next step is to download Android Studio and run it, which will do most of the heavy lifting for you. Uh, but I prefer to download the Toolbox app first, uh, especially I recommend it if you use other JetBrains products. Like, for example, this is how it looks. So I don't have 100 Studio installed. Let's find it. Now that Android Studio is installed, let's run it. Okay, uh, that's an issue. Uh, I already have the installation of Android Studio, so it remembered my choices. When you first run uh, your Android Studio, it will run you. It will guide you through the setup process and offer you to download and install SDK. But in my case, SDK Manager, SDK tools are already installed. You will choose uh, the standard process, and I suggest, uh, if it's offered, install the command line tools, especially if you're working from the command line. If you forgot to install the command line, no worries, go to Tools, SDK Manager, SDK Tools, and select this. Okay, so let's cover what you've done. You installed Java, Java is working. You installed Android Studio, and it's also working. You can run it. And also, when going to SDK Manager, you also have the Android SDK and the command line tools. Uh, next step to get it working from the command line is to set environment variables and point to command line tools and platform tools. So let's see what's there in the environment variables. Set up Android Home, which will point to something like this. It will be almost the, of the same except the username. And also add pass. Point to emulator, platform tools, and uh, command line tools. Uh, sorry, command line tools, this is, this is wrong. Command line tools are actually two folders down. Let me expand it so you can see. Now that everything is set up and the uh, paths are added, you can use the platform tools or command line tools. One of the platform tools is AVD Manager. That's for creating AVDs from the command line. It's easier to set it up through Android Studio, but you can do it uh, through command line tool. Also, SDK Manager. You can install platform and build tools also through the command line. But mostly what I'm using is ADB. And uh, ADB devices, you can see a list of running emulators or connected devices. In this case, uh, it's a connected device. Other useful tool is debugging system logs with blockpad. 
If you just run walk it, uh, it will uh, run, uh, it will be noisy, too much walks. But if you provide an argument and your package, you will see a list of logs related to your application if it's installed on your device or emulator. Uh, what else? Uh, sometimes when you install an APK, you will get an error that it's already installed. So you just run this, adb uninstall your package, and uh, you can reinstall it again. And uh, this covers the basic setup of Android SDK on Windows. And I hope uh, this video was useful and uh, hit like and subscribe.